Hey guys, I'm just going to give you a small tutorial today on basic animation um, and how it works and what a keyframe is and um, about the timeline and IPO and all that good stuff. Alright, um, so we have our default cube. I'm actually going to use this today. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it can work with it. You're going to go over here, um, right click you should see a whenever you go to the left you should see a arrow right click split area go down here just make it yay high um, right here go down to this little box right here that tells you what kind of window you want it to be um, go down to or up to timeline um, so you have your box selected this is your box your box is schedule your box is agenda it's timeline so you have uh, you have frame one selected right here and if we just if we resume it doesn't do anything because you haven't you haven't assigned anything yet to assign things you want to press I and then insert key um, there's all different kinds of keys um, mostly the the ones only used um, are the first six or seven these these right here um, these are for more advanced um, stuff except mesh use mesh a little bit more um, than not but um, today we're going to use locate rotate sc scale um, we're going to go to so now we have marked the first frame as it is right here it is in this box right there okay so now that we've marked that we're going to go to whatever frame that we want it to do something at so we're going to go to frame 40 and then let's see what do we want to do with it we can move it over here and go up here and make it a little bit bigger and then we're going to um, insert the key to mark that what we just did location rotation scale we by location we moved it over here and up rotation we actually didn't rotate it but and then we scaled it up so you're gonna use that okay so <clears throat> if you did all that right it should be something like this and I'm moving from one from frame one to frame 40 and you can press play and watch it move and um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this right now but uh, you can uh, go all the way you can scroll this down it starts at frame one and uh, ends at frame 40 go up to render render animation and then you render an animation I'm not going to do that right now but um, it'll just look like that only in rendered texture form okay that's how you do that um, while we're here, I didn't know if I was going to do this or not. I just have to get into the video and see what I had time for. But um, I am going to teach you all now how to do some armatures. Uh, it's very, very simple. Uh, more simple than you'd think, really. Um, you want to press Z. Add armature right here. And I'm in the object mode. Now this is what an armature looks like. It has a joint, the arm, and then a connecting joint. I'm going to press 7 to go into a top view. Rotate that on the y-axis by a 90 degree. I'm going to scale it up to about here. Leave that right there. This is a very basic um, armature. So, And then what we're going to do is go into edit mode. Click this connector. E to extrude and then X extrude on the Y axis or the X axis. Then we're going to do that. So now we have an armature that does this. Okay. We're going to do that. Uh, click this button right here. Go into. Hold on. Okay, click your armature, your skeleton. Go press seven and go into this box right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's editing. Yeah, it's editing. 
and then here's the editing options for your armature you can make it a stick to make it easier to work with um, you can and this is what we're gonna do we're gonna make it an x-ray so you can see through at all times okay press 7 <clears throat> um, and hopefully you're you're related with uh, parent parenting objects what you're gonna do is select your object your box and shift and click your armature and then control P armature objects create from bone heat right here and now you should be able to you should be able to go into pose mode by selecting this and be able to ooh, whoops That is really weird looking, but okay. There we go. I think I can. I just fixed it. Okay. And what you can do to make your box a little bit more flexible is I'm gonna actually. I'm, I don't know if this works as well as I think it does, but I'm going to subdivide it. And yeah, it works pretty well. <clears throat> I'm going to go into object mode and scale these up on the Z axis, scale it down a little bit. Um, yeah, and I'm going to get my box, I'm going to scale it on the X axis so I can fit my armature. Uh, I'm going to click this, go into pose mode, click that, and do that. So, And also you can animate your armatures just the exact same way by selecting an armature and using it as an object for your timeline. And that's your basic armature. Um, check out my other tutorials to figure out how to model um, a few things and that's it alright guys thanks you have a great day